you know, all of these techniques are meant to get people from the po place where they're thinking in an ADHD distracted way, where they have one thing after another in their head, their brains are seeing lots of different things, into a more focused state. So if you intend to do something, if you're very clear about what you want to do, if your goal is appropriate and right, intention leads to attention automatically. I like that. I know, it's like good, that. huh? <laughs> intention just, leads to attention. That's pretty good. So if I'm really specific and I have the right intentions that's leading and guiding my attention, I think you have to keep things close. And in, in, in the martial arts, we've learned about distance and space and timing. And a big piece of that is the things that are closer to you have more power over you. The things that are further away from you have less power over you. So if I'm somebody that's trying to get on that, that path of, you know, not knowing what I'm doing, not knowing how to get there, I'm trying to really control my intentions and my attention, well, why not have a, lit, a, a written set of goals? Let's have that written down. Let's write those goals down so you actually have it there. Now, if I've got my written set of goals, but I'm walking into the classroom and my written set of goals are, oh, I left them uh, in my drawer uh, back at home, the farther away I am from those written goals, the less power they have over me. So if I, maybe I'm walking into the classroom, I've got those goals written down, maybe before I go into the classroom, I open it up and I read and I see in my own handwriting, what am I going to accomplish? It's immediately present to me. And then when I walk into the classroom, which I'm giving my intention, then ultimately my attention will follow because I'm walking in with that intentionality. Sure. I mean, if you were going to a boring class, but right before you went into the class, you said to yourself, okay, I know this is not my favorite thing to do. However, what I want is to understand this so that I don't have to read it three times after the class. I want to impress myself by getting a good grade. I want to impress my parents, my significant other, whatever it is, giving yourself a reason to do things is another thing that helps move you from not focus to focus. If you, um, if you have stuff to do, it's on you to find a way to make it be interesting to yourself, relevant to yourself, and that will help you focus with automatically.